let's see. Ah, I can just open it here. Good morning internet, it is 8.20 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. I am in El Chaltén in Argentina and I'm leaving this place today. Let me see, oh, yeah there's another beautiful view on Mount Fitzroy, check it out. What a stunning place right? But um, uh, I'm gonna have my breakfast and then uh, leave, uh, it's gonna be quite a long day I think. Because I'll be riding 350 kilometers and it's going to be quite some off-roading, as I understand. So, I better get the breakfast and then go. Hola, buenos dias. Bien, gracias. To give you an idea on where I'm going to go today, or if you're new to the channel, um, this is the trip so far. So, this is whole South America. And then I started in uh, Buenos Aires, went down to Ushuaia back up now I am uh, somewhere here and today I am going to go this way actually it's not on the map where I'm gonna go let me think probably I'll stay somewhere around this area and actually I should turn the map around so on this side uh, you actually see the mountains a little bit better so where am I I am somewhere here and I am now traveling in the Argentina side because on the Chile side uh, you have the, the glaciers all over here. Uh, Perito Moreno is one of them, but uh, there's a, a lot of glaciers in this area and there's actually no roads in this part of Chile. So if you travel here you have to go by boat. So I have no other option than to travel uh, on the Argentina side of the border, uh, at least for now. Um, and yeah, so it will be a little bit more flat probably today again because I'm moving away a little bit from uh, from the Andes. But uh, let's see, maybe it's not so flat at all. I don't, I don't know. What I do know is that I will be riding mostly on Ruta 40. So that's road number 40. And uh, part of this road is unpaved. And they warned me that it can get a little bit muddy and tricky when it's wet. So, so let's hope it stays dry today. It looks a little bit dodgy now, but uh, okay, maybe uh, maybe it'll be fine, I hope so. Otherwise it might be a little bit of a muddy adventure today, but uh, let's see. Bye Mount Fitzroy, what a beauty, right? Where I'm going today is not the most usual place to stay. I'm riding to a place called Estancia Santa Telma. So it's a farm where I'm going to stay and it's, so it's not in a town or anything. It's just kind of uh, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so I contacted them um, before to make sure I can stay there. Which I can. So I'm really looking forward to uh, going to the farm. I think I'll be sleeping in a tent. So that's something different too. So I'm really looking forward to it. I am back at the Ruta 40. So that's where I came from before I went to El Chaltén. So El Calafates came from that side. And then I went to El Chaltén in there. And I had to ride back the same way. And now I'm going back north again. Towards that Gregoris place. And the farm is, what is it, maybe 50 kilometers after that. La Pla Gregoris Town. Service station. I 
I am now in the tiny town called Tres Lagos, which uh, with uh, one horse and I don't know, a few houses. But there's a petrol station here, so better get petrol. Because the next one is uh, quite far away here. Holanda. Holanda. Sí. Oh, hablo español. Sí. Muy bueno. <laughs> Pero viene a pasear acá a Argentina. Are you coming here to check it? Sí, sí. Around? Sí, sí. How do you like it? Good. Good? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holanda. Are you coming by yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it seems like everybody is uh, sticking their stickers here too. But uh, I'm not going to put my precious stickers on every gas station. That's a bit of a waste, so not on this one. So we've reached the end of the paved road. Now it's just going to be gravel for, <laughs> for I don't know how long, but at least for now. Wow. They have these uh, SOS uh, places. Pretty impressive. I wonder if it's like a phone. Let's, uh, let's check it out. There's absolutely nobody around here. So I'm pretty impressed that they have these uh, SOS things. I guess it's just an old fashioned phone. Oh, like an intercom thing. Wow. Well, I guess that's a good thing because if you're in trouble around here, then don't count on a lot of other traffic. Well, this road is actually not so easy to ride because you get like tracks like these, but then on the sides there's like this pretty thick loose gravel all the time. And then sometimes a trail, which I'm following now, just ends and then suddenly you hit this stuff. <laughs> So uh, I have to drive a little bit careful. Oh, look, look, look. Look, all the babies. <gasps> Guanacos, but look, all the baby Nandus. Look how many. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. It's like one, two, three, four, I don't know, 20? Well, this is what I mean. The trail is really tiny. And then on either side, I have this really loose gravel. <laughs> It's paved again, so that was uh, 70 kilometers on that uh, gravel. What a big difference in landscape, right? I just came over those hills where it's super dry, almost desert-like. And now here I'm in kind of a valley. And it's green and there's trees, 
a lot of water Gobernador Gregores, welcome I'm going to do two things in this town uh, That is get petrol again Just because otherwise I will not make it Well, I will make it to my destination of today But not to the one afterwards, I think uh, So just to be sure, I'm going to fill up here And I'm going to look for food, lunch Because it is... I think it's almost two o'clock, so uh, it's lunch time, I would say. Hi. so this is what happens she just said no nafta there is no petrol that's why I try to fill up when I can because that so is now there is no petrol with my extra petrol cans I should make it to the next one but if they don't have anything well then it's gonna be a problem <laughs> Because this is the only petrol station there is here and the next one is another 230 kilometers from here Let's try this bakery because I can't seem to find anything else Hola Okay, so lunch here at the bakery I'm having a sandwich <laughs> with uh, I think ham and cheese or something so uh, it's fine for now um, a bit bummed about the petrol but okay it shouldn't be a problem I should be able to make it but uh, yeah that just shows that you have to be uh, careful around here and just fill up whenever you can and that's what I've been doing so far so uh, that strategy seems to work because yeah they just might be out of petrol and then uh, there's nothing around for hundreds of kilometers so uh, yeah, but uh, anyway, I first eat this and then I think it's another 50 kilometers, I think, to the Estancia where I'm going to stay tonight. Santa Delma Wow, the weather completely cleared up It's beautiful weather now Let's see, ah, I can just open it here Opa! I'm here. I think I'll just have to park here. Hola! <laughs> Hi! Isabel! Nora Lee! Nice place you have. Yes, 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 yeah. So I don't know if you want to. What do you want to uh, do with your motorbike? Because uh, you uh, booked the tent, oh. which yeah. are just up. I can see you. Uh -huh. And so if you want... Ah, uh, then, yeah, if I can take the bike yes, closer, then yes, I'll do that. Yes, so. maybe I can show you uh, first, or yeah. you want to... I'm going to bring the no to my tent. Just have to go through here. Merci! <laughs> Oh, 
What a fantastic place. Oh, I want to show you my tent. This is where I'm staying tonight. Look at it. Oh, fancy, right? Really nice. So that's the tent. And then over here they have a shower and a toilet. Look. And the toilet. <laughs> Super nice. They have a lot of horses here. So my plan is to go horse riding. Why not? I haven't done horse riding in years. So I think it's actually really nice. Trade uh, Dano for one with, uh, well, 24.5 times less horsepower. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's great. What a lovely place. I'm happy I found this. I think for the next ride, the challenge is going to be fuel. Although I do believe I should have enough, should have enough. But hey, <laughs> you never know what happens. But uh, anyway, we'll see that in the next ride, I would say for now. Today I made it here, which is nice. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.